Why do these window grills have a bulge? Seeded spade. Uh, that's clearly a window nappy, which needs to be changed. It's very full. Oh, I was going to go in the exact opposite direction below the waistline and notice their bulgy walgy, but you just rent. You went right for the <laughs> post. I did. Uh, you went straight for the window. <laughs> what can I say? I can say nothing. I have no defense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is so like people can put their babies out to air and they can't escape. <laughs> you know, you hang the babies off there, make some baby jerky, start your meat farm. You know how it goes. Yeah, you know, like if you forget your baby out the window, uh, then you you know it's safe. It can't fall away. This is probably for putting something out there to grow. Call me a little bit skeptical. I don't think that's babies, but I do think. Well, it's you're just not thinking far enough into the future. I lack <laughs> the creativity for the orphan meat farm. But I, I, generally, though, I think that this is to probably like plants or something, if I had to guess. If it was plants, I would imagine it would probably be a bit flatter other than curved because it you can't really put anything out there and keep it secure. Well, I don't know what it is. Let's look down. They're called belly bars and they're designed for flower boxes. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. And they can also be used for drying babies. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calbus. My name is Lumo. With me today is Zen. That is me. And today we're starting an orphan meat drag. <laughs> No, no, no. We're looking at r slash what is this thing? A subreddit for images and videos and things where people just ask, what is this? And normally it's quite obvious, but sometimes it's not like a window bulge. Let's just get right into it. Enclosed copper gazebo type thing on a rental property. House built in 1929. You've been playing Elden Ring? I have. I'm pretty sure this is just to encase the uh, the skeletons so they can't get out. They had to weld it shut. Oh, I thought this was the entrance to the uh, Sophia well. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no caves on the ground. Just skeletons. You're right. No, we did fill in all of the caves to stop the skeletons from having points of egress. <laughs> No, no, no. We filled the caves with the skeletons. Oh, God. <laughs> Isn't that just <laughs> providing reinforcements for them to wait, make one mega skeleton with? Look, we didn't think this one through, <laughs> okay? I can't believe the government, TM, has failed us again in stopping the skeletal plague. When will Big Milk and its army of PMC skeletons be stopped? Okay, speaking of underground caves and milk, uh, have you heard about the underground American cheese caves? Yes! I did not know this was a thing until the other day, and I thought it was a joke! We what? will forever be secure with our cheese! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, sorry, sorry, yeah, what is this copper gazebo? Uh, I, I think it's just a copper gazebo, probably like a little clock. This looks like fancy pants territory, so let's find out. It's a cupola! Wow. Okay, that means nothing um, to me. Another cupola! Okay, this still means nothing to me. Google, tell me, what's a cupola for? Google, show me this guy's balls. A small structure built on top of a roof. So you have found yourself a bunker entrance. <laughs> yeah, either you have destroyed a house and taken it for loot, or there is a house under there. God, that's so weird. Uh, put cupola on your bingo card if you got it. We're moving on. <laughs> Surgically removed from my cat's stomach, we're at a loss as to what it is. Help, it's rubbery in texture and maybe about an inch long. That looks like the end of a stop of like a USB. Yeah, I was gonna say, look, it looks like this cat swallowed an SD card and this is all you got back. Yeah, it, it looks like it's a stopper for like an electronical device. Uh, yeah, I'd willing to, oh, it could be like a, a plug casing. Let's find out. Ooh. Oh, it's from their water fountain. And it is in fact, a part of the thing that uh, the plug goes into to yeah. stop the power cord from going into the basin part. Neat. All right. Teach your cat that rubber's not food. Anyone know what this tiny door is for? I'll give you a hint. Tiny people. I, you you were actually going the same way I was going to go with just hobbits. I, I was just going to say hobbits. Like, all we need to do is just, like, have a little image of Gandalf outside the window and it'd be perfect. Yeah, but, like, that window's actually at, like, torso height for him. So, like, it's just, like, buff wizard pecs. <laughs> it's just Gandalf dog. <laughs> I don't want to remarry. I just want sex. See my orb. Oh, that's an orb I'd ponder. <laughs> Uh, former human door sacrificed for a bay window addition, but they kept the remaining part of the door for pets. Well, now that's rude. They're people too. Oh, oh, okay. So that's just a really fancy dog door. Honestly, really rad. You teach the dog to open the door. It can come and go as it pleases. It doesn't need to ask Ooh, you. Give your I dog. I don't like that. 
Give your dog like independence. That. I don't like that. Let the Simply dog be free. The... No, I read. don't like that Teach because, like, what if, its rights. what if the ring bell goes off and you look in and it's just the door, a dog knocking at the door and he's just like, I forgot my keys. That is something I don't want to wake up to. I, for some odd reason, thought you were going to go a different direction. The dog has a harrowed look in its eyes. Its body isn't moving as it should. A skinwalker has taken it and it's trying to get back in. Isn't that just that image of the cow in the <laughs> ring doorbell? <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I am like 100% sure that's a skinwalker. <laughs> me, me, me went after Taco Bell. Large chunk of metal weighs quite a bit in your hand and hasn't changed in color in decades. Well, I, okay, no, that's actually, that is Egypt. That is, that is, uh, what's it called? This is a replica piece because this brand down here is a Roman letter, but this is, I want to say, Egyptian in nature, at least the script is. I, I have nothing for this. I'm, I was just going to assume it was just like I'm along the same lines of just Egyptian gold. Uh, the first shape made me think it was just a very fancy Zippo lighter. Same, same, because it's got that band on it. Mm hmm. Uh, but other than that, I think you've just got yourself a big chunk of gold there, buddy. Looks like a cast of a cuneiform tablet, probably memorabilia from a museum. When I said a big chunk of gold, I may have been wrong. Yeah, the M logo is the logo of the Réunion des Messieurs Nationales. Perfect, flawless. Absolutely no way any French-speaking people are gonna... I, uh, thank you. My, my French is unparalleled. I knew one kid who went to French class in high school. Oh, that's fantastic. That basically makes you fluent. Anyway, it's it's from a French public museum. A pool of white goo that has been bubbling out of the ground in my backyard for months. It's about the size of my hand with my fingers spread. What do you want on your fries? Shit. You can't say <laughs> Oh, I stopped my recording. I, I slammed my desk and stopped my recording. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me give a clap so it resync. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm so glad that I captured your audio on my end as well, so you can still use that. I don't, I don't want gr I don't want ground color. I don't want grum. I, I just don't want it. It's just, ah. Oh. Turns out Mother Earth was a father all along. <laughs> uh, nature's pre is not what I want in my backyard. You know what? I could see this also being a cheese cave, a cheese cave reaching unsustainable like temperatures and the liquid being displaced out through the cracks. Are you, are you telling me that what we could be looking at right now is pressurized cheese cum? <laughs> this is uh, this is either the I think it's the way whatever the the waste liquid is from liquid cheese or some someone in your neighborhood is going around pumping fat loads into the wildlife to try and stimulate some uh, natural growth. I, I mean, every rabbit hole's a goal, I guess. I'm gonna put it out here now. My actual guess is this is probably a slime mold. Yeah, most likely. It's something to do with mushroom. It looks like bamboo roots that are decaying. It's always dog vomit slime mold. Oh, also. Oh, it's coming from bamboo. Oh, it's just coming from bamboo. It's actually just coming from bamboo. Okay, nice. Uh, let me just have a quick check on the YouTube demonetization word list. Uh, oh, is definitely on there. That This entire thing is getting a hundred, a hundred and ten percent. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to censor it. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of censoring. God, okay. It, you know what? In the next one, which is your edit, I'm just going to say a lot. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Too ready for the car. <laughs> <laughs> Strange bench with tubing near at the parking lot of an old elementary school. That's to keep the children locked in. So you can say that. I was going to say this is probably like anti home design because it's small enough to fit like three children but not one adult it's most likely that yeah actually no yeah that's most likely what it is also why anti-homeless basically gives like children a bench where they have to sit in like it's a freaking roller coaster yeah it's a game from falling out when it starts moving yeah absolutely uh so apparently this is playground equipment from the 70s or 80s you lie on your back and pull yourself through Oh, so I, I was half right. Yeah, not I was being a cynical, a cynical asshole. That's not me. <laughs> Bring that up in therapy this <clears throat> week. <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> I've seen this cane shaped, usually brass post at numerous bars and pubs and wondered what it is and what it is for. I've been unable to Google the correct sequence of words to get a result. It's just for old people. It's for old people who might need a cane. No, actually, that... <laughs> 
you may be joking, but it's literally like, it's just a holding post. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I am like 100% sure because if you notice on the second image, uh, the bar opens up there. So it's like a divider to let people know, don't go beyond this because this is where we come in and out of the bar. Oh, that's actually super neat. Yeah, there it is. I suspect it's designed to stop people from standing at the bar section that opens. Yep, there it is. Wow, that was that was quick and convenient. All right, next one. <laughs> On the bed in my hotel. Doesn't open or anything. West out W Melbourne, Australia. Oh. This is. Uh, remember when we were talking about the any hole is a goal? This one's just fuzzy. Oh no! This is. I think this is actual. I think this is gear. I can't say the actual acronym upon which it is designated. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I heard that I, gasp. Oh. This, is, this is a cuff. This is a collar. This is something. Because they line those with fuzz, so they're not super uncomfortable when you struggle. Oh. I just looked at the top comment. Uh. Let's read this out loud together. Hi, OP. This piece is a nod at Ned Kelly's helmet, where the slit in the first picture is where the eyes would be. It's been reimagined as playful leather and fox fur fascinator. Well, let's just leave it at that. You know, <laughs> this just lo <laughs> this just looks like a furry version of Swagger Soul's helmet. I was about to say, for when, for when you want a crusade, but you need a little something special after. Oh, oh what is this thing? Circular thing on a post in an antique place. I think I know, I think I know. Would you like to say it? I Let's do the funny funny first. Bad pizza cutter. Uh, for when you want to steer your hotel down the ocean. Uh, okay, I mean, Bioshock difficulty selector. <laughs> this is, this is steamboat controls. This is steamboat controls for how hard you want the engine to go. <laughs> uh, I can tell you, I think I know what this actually is. Oh. No, it actually, no, fuck yeah, it actually is. It actually is. I don't know why that's outside, like, where is this? Uh, it's probably in like a museum or something down in uh, New Orleans. Hmm. Yeah. This is an engine order telegraph used in older marine vessels. It allowed the captain to remote communication with the ship's engine room. Hmm. Okay. So I that I'm gonna be real. I knew that what that was. It's just I was more thinking about the location because for some reason I thought it was outside of a hotel. I was like, that's weird. Why is that outside <laughs> of a hotel? I mean, no one uses these anymore, so it probably makes an interesting decoration piece. Yeah. You know the love pillows that you get where... <laughs> just have one of those. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> Big blue bar or bracket hanging from my garage ceiling, bolted to the rafters. So we actually have a bunch of these at my house, and we use them to... Or rather, at my parents' house, and we use them to store, like, skis and long tools and ladders and bikes they are just wonderful like thing hangers yeah I, that's that's pretty much all i imagine that it would be it would just be like storage racks i'm more concerned that their wall and roof look so scuzzy and this pipe looks like it's starting to lose its luster and they just have a singular crock pot and like a little salsa dish up there with <laughs> mysterious black concrete. Look, we're here to judge the bar, not this person's living situation. <laughs> I'm going to do both. I'm, I'm a multi. I, I can do many things at once. I'm very talented. OK, well, why is it like if we're doing that on the right hand side? Why does it look like the world's largest harmonica? <laughs> because it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they afford this property. They just go on like America's uh, America's Got Talent every year. Just play the world's biggest harmonica. The judges pay them to stop and they come home. And make your own economy. It's pretty good. It's a pull-up bar. I'm not sure I believe that one because apparently it, they would need to be very tall. So what uh... else? What else do we got? Bicycle hanging bar. But it's in the way of parking a vehicle. Then it was just poorly set up. Yeah, or they just didn't have a car that they parked in there. Heck, my my, I have some friends who have garages who park their cars in the driveway and use the garage as a gym. So it's like, no, I would do that as well. I would just use the garage as extra space because if I've got the driveway, why not use it? Oh, to hang a deer upon or other animal to gut skin and age it. I think okay. I think we had bicycle rack is like storage rack is like the best option. This person just found an alternate use. I don't understand. It's dead. It's not going to age anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Weird triple outlet on my office floor located in the mar... <laughs> I live here. 
I that was see. not an intentional screw up. That was actual located in America. Too wide for a regular plug. Have you considered just having cooler plugs? That that actually legitimately might be the answer. Uh, <laughs> it might just be specialized equipment. Yeah, that would be my best guess. Uh, we love proprietary plugs, which is why wire managing my desk and getting custom cables has been such a nightmare. Wonderful. Yeah, no, I'm, I just want to know this one. Proprietary power for some sort of cubicle wall system. Bingo. Oh, for the worker pens. <laughs> yep, just gotta keep them penned in, you know? If they get too many grandiose ideas of freedom, they might try and ask for better pay. <sighs> Since we were talking about ground early, I can't see that. <laughs> Came in a box. God damn it. <laughs> Came in a box of candy making supplies that I got off Craigslist. Measures four and a half inches wide and has about 60 twisty screws embedded into it. It came with lots of different semi-professional sugar candy tools. And this one has me stumped. It's probably for, uh, I want to say aerating taffy or other such candies. I actually watch a lot of candy making on YouTube and they have a hook that they do it on, but I imagine on a smaller scale, you could use it to like rip and pull. I reckon this might be for like, um, maybe taffy, it might, just general sugar, like gen general sweets. If you like wanting to make a bunch of like holes, like tryptophobia's nightmare, if you want to do fillings or something. I could see it, I could see it. It might also just be for like twisting or something, you know, cause it's got a lot of grip. Yeah, but why would you, tw I guess if you punch it in, because uh, it's got screws and you just like twist it if you want to like yeah maybe maybe that's gotta make such a lovely noise on any metal surface <laughs> it's from making spun sugar oh okay what oh it's like the 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 decorative like spidery stuff yeah it's the sh all right okay cool Neat. what an old house this is in the living room next to the fireplace made of wood appears to be a shelf behind the dual Gates. I can tell you exactly what this might be, but not with 100% accuracy, which is basically the entirety of what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> this is a shrine. Yeah, this this could have been a religious shrine. It could have also held an old timey radio. It kind of fits the aesthetic. Oh, actually, yeah, I see that. Like, I, I was just thinking like this would be just like a, a memorial shrine for like someone that's passed or like a religious shrine, as you said. Yeah, I, I just think it's like a shrine. Yeah, I, I could see this being used for like uh, Dios, de, uh, Dios de los Muertos. I haven't spoken Spanish in almost a decade, so it's very hard for me to swap back into it. See, si. But uh, genuinely, though, I this is either a radio shack or it's for <laughs> religious purposes. It's a radio shack. They didn't go out of business. <laughs> It's for a telephone. The shelves below are for a phone book. Well, screw us then, I guess. If it's not, if there is no jack, then it's for a shrine. <gasps> Yee, the bibble. So you got it right. Apparently there's a chance that this was used for religious purposes. Telephone nook. Or for a telephone. It could be either. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just need to praise the telephones and just combine the two. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. But before we go, I believe we have an announcement to make. For Reddit Reading Channel, we now actually have the official r slash Calvis subreddit. So there's this, a lot of story that goes into us actually getting the Calvis subreddit, but uh, special thanks to uh, Lenny Da Vinci for getting the subreddit for us. Genuinely appreciate. They have been a great help in getting everything set up. So r slash Calibus, it's alive, it's real, you can go there now. So what are you still doing here? Go there, right, actually no, hold on. Uh, watch another video of ours, open up another tab and go to r slash Calibus and start posting memes about the channel. So yeah, we have a subreddit, go there, populate it with memes about the channel. Uh, I poke my head in every now and again, so if you have any questions, I'll do my best to be there. But yeah, go check out the subreddit. But on that note, uh, my name has been Luma, with me has been Zen. <laughs> this has been amazingly bad. This <laughs> if, you, if you want more r slash what is this thing, there'll be another one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. Share this with your friend to remind them to use nails to make candy. Um, but until then, we hope to see you in the very next Calpus video or on the subreddit. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, um, goodbye. <laughs>